Welcome to Men's and Track and Field Weekly here on Eagle All Access. Today, assistant coach Steve Mann joins us. And coach, come off a quad meet at Grand Valley State. Your team finished second. How would you assess your team's performance? Um, I mean, overall, we would have liked to have won the meet. We, we lost by 10 points. Um, and we, we only lost five of the individual events. So um, individually, we did great. Um, we had some solid performances, some good highlights. Um, Matthew Williams is continuing to be consistent in the 200 and the 400. Um, Max Babbitts is continuing to win in the pole vault. Um, in the uh, high jump, Ryan Brumfield came out from the football team for us and uh, jumped 6-9 in his first meet of the year, so we're pretty happy about that. Uh, and, and also on the track, uh, we had an eight great 800 meter race. Uh, Tyler Ross, Gregor Kalinowski, and Scott Bradley um, all ran really great races. Um, and then we got to see Terefa Jigu uh, in the distance races. And, and all around, there's some good highlights. Um, it's still early in the season, and we're hoping that uh, with the, the bigger competitions coming up, that we see some, some bigger results. And EMU came into last week's meet rank number eight in the dual meet rankings by Track and Field News Magazine. And what does it mean to be top ten nationally in those dual meet rankings? Um, it's kind of cool. Uh, it's the first year they've done these rankings in a long time. Uh, it's, it's not, I wouldn't say it's that important to us, but it's neat to be put up there with the other um, large conference schools um, like Michigan, Michigan State. Uh, we definitely feel that our team has the ability to compete. Um, with, with these bigger schools um, and it definitely gives us a sense of, of the team competition um, and it's all about preparing us for the conference meet. And speaking of competing against those bigger schools this weekend you have the Mayo Invitational at Notre Dame and that does bring in some top talent around the nation as well as the top teams and so how does uh, just talk a little bit about what you're expecting about your team going into that event and coming out and competing with such great talent at that Invitational. Um, Usually this is the time of year, um, this weekend, next weekend, where we start seeing some, some major breakthroughs. Um, and a lot of it happens to do, or, or happens because uh, of the competition at these bigger meets. Uh, we take a more select group of athletes to this meet, and um, we expect big things with, with this kind of atmosphere. And now you've had one-day meets so far this year. Now the Mayo Invitational is a two-day meet. So does your practice and preparation change at all now that you compete on a Friday and Saturday as opposed to just a Friday or just a Saturday? Um, it might mean a, a shorter uh, work week for the guys competing Friday. Um, some of the guys are only competing Saturday. It's not too big of a difference. Um, I mean, the big thing is, is having our guys fresh. It'll be nice for the guys competing Saturday to, to be there overnight. Okay, Coach Manns, once again, thanks for joining us on Eagle All Access. Good luck this weekend at Notre Dame. Thank you. Go Eagles.